Southern suburbs residents are mounting a new bid to stop the controversial Row Highway extension in its tracks. Hundreds are expected to get together tonight to launch the new action. A plan to extend Row Highway 5 k's from the Kurana Freeway to Stock Road was given the green lights earlier this month. It's designed to solve traffic congestion issues, but the six-lane road will cut through 100 hectares of wetlands in Belia and North Lake. Alana McTiernan is preparing to spearhead this new push. Alana, good morning to you. G'day, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Thanks for joining us this morning. This is an issue that's been dragging on for a long while now and it's really uh, a source of division in Perth's southern suburbs. What are your concerns about this extension to Row Highway? Well, my concern is that it's the, the wrong road being built for the wrong reason. Uh, this has just been dropped like a UFO on the community without any planning. And we all know uh, that within 10 years, we are going to need a new port up and running in uh, Coburn Sound. So what we are doing is trying to uh, put or uh, build a road into a port that we know is going to have to move. It's been accepted since the 1990s uh, that we will need to build a new container facility down in Coburn Sound, that there is a finite capacity in Fremantle. It's simply not going to be able to cope with the level of containers in the future. And now we're looking at this project, which we estimate at the moment will be up to $2.5 billion uh, is going to be spent on a project that will be out of date almost from the day that it is completed. Well, Anna, most people would agree that there are too many trucks on our roads through our southern suburbs. So what is your solution in the longer term moving the port? Is that right? Well Absolutely. There is no way. We, when we were in government, we did a lot of work on this. We also worked really, really hard uh, to get more freight onto rail. Quite frankly, there are major constraints in doing that in, um, in, into the Fremantle port. So just going to rail alone is not a solution. What we need to do is to move the port down, as has been done elsewhere, as has been done in Sydney, as has been done in Melbourne, where you take the port out of a, a really old constrained area built more than 100 years ago and you put it into a new area. This, this time, Coburn Sound, that's been agreed uh, for the last 20 years. You build the road and rail corridor into that port so you've got modern facilities, modern road and rail going directly into the port. That's the way that we are going to drive the economy of the future, not for political reasons, trying to you know, dust off this old project from the 1960s uh, and try to uh, squeeze it all into the Fremantle port through a really highly built up and historic area. All right, this is a massive issue, Alana. We'll be following this one with interest. We thank you for your time this morning. Absolutely. Thank you.